luckily I get to say that I'm selling out shows. I think that's a blessing. For me, when I step out on stage, every show is different. I don't ever look at every show the same. I always go out there and I always have so much fun. Sometimes I even see different sides of me and sometimes I even get emotional in different segments. The fact that I sing the songs every single night, I mean, from the outside looking in, you would probably say that I was tired of the songs. I fall in love with the songs more and more every single day. Uh, I love touring. I mean, I, I can't wait to be in Hong Kong. I feel like it's going to be amazing. So the process of me creating music right now compared to when I made American Teen is completely different. I've learned so much about recording. I've learned so much from other artists, from collaborations that I've done. I'm just so happy that I get to do what I do and I get to have the ability to, to expand my mind through whatever process it is. On the last EP I did, I actually produced my own song, Motion. And so that took a lot of work and a lot of trusting myself, but it ended up being one of my favorite songs I've ever done. So the Sun City EP is definitely not the album. It's not the album. I'm really excited about the album and it will definitely come out in 2019. So an artist that I listen to that people wouldn't expect me to listen to is Massey Star. My favorite song is Fade Into You. This is so peaceful and blissful and I just love it a lot. So, when I found out I was the third most streamed artist in the world, I was actually at We Can Survive, a benefit concert in LA. Um, I was with my friends and my team. Uh, I don't even know if I really celebrated any much. I guess you can say eating cupcakes at my house with all of my homies was a celebration. But it's a blessing and I can't believe that that many people all over the world are listening to me. Like, the world. It's insane and I surprise myself every day.